Welcome to paradise, people. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Tile Seven Torture with Spang News, and today I'm going to be doing a quite a long video. So if you have the patience, bear with me. But this is going to be a very, very long video discussing the sound system, the light system, and the auditorium of the high school. Auditorium, as you can see, has seen better days. So let me turn the gain up a little bit. There we go, you can see it a little bit better. It has seen better days, as you can tell. Uh, some of the siding is not so great. Uh, it's definitely not that great. Believe it or not, this auditorium divides into three. Those dividers you see over there, they do still work. And they, there's one in here as well, in the cracks between these two booths. The booth over here, isn't used for anything, it's just a computer storage room. And you see there's a divider right there in a really shitty spotlight that's like a piece of crap. This was going to be a remote learning center. Never got, uh, never got used. It got used maybe once or twice and then it got destroyed. That's an entirely different story, I'm staying off topic of that. And of course, uh, kind of retrofit, we got a Wheelock MT, ADA mass up there. Why is my camera not focusing? That is the question. Oh, because I have it on auto. Manual focus. No, wheel lock. Or not, there's the wheel lock MT. Um, system sensor mass. I know the system sensor mass. You know the fire alarms and stuff. These were just for places. And it's because there were never any sound system in here. Those speakers up there do not work. Um, they were a part of the original PA system, I believe, and they were never used. So, those are just disconnected. They, they're just there, but they don't work. As you can see, some of the speakers are just hanging there. Oh, good God. This auditorium needs a touch-up, but it's my wreck. Or, as far as I know, it's not really mine, but in a literal uh, form. But I'm just saying, like, in a general, it's that. So, right here, we're going to start off with our standard lighting. A general light company, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, light board. Now, we have a standard lighting server in a room down over there. You can't really see it from the glass. And basically, every single light in this auditorium is controlled with this. I will give a demo at the end of the video, but I'm just giving you a little overview. Got a little cheap ViewSonic monitor. And this thing actually is a full-blown computer. It's running Windows XP Embedded. It's a special version of Embedded that actually allows... that only pops up with, this, with the mixer board software and whatnot. Diagram of the lights. Right here is my probably the best mixer I've ever seen. This is an oldie, but oh, goodie. Sorry. <laughs> I thought someone was calling me, but there was no one in here. Anyhow. So, uh, right here is probably the nicest soundboard I've heard in a long time. It is a Mackie. A Onyx, or whatever it's called. 424.4. Really good mixer. It's 24 channel, including dual, two dual channels, which are mixed between 21, 22, 23, 24. These are uh, these are set up a little bit weird, but essentially we have five, six, seven, eight set up on the outputs, the XLR inputs on the stage. You can kind of see them right there, and one and two are used for the wireless, like the standard Audio Technica. Where are they? I have one, the other one's at home, I gotta bring it back. But I have a very fancy one if I can just freaking find it. I gotta clean this place up. I'm in charge of cleaning it. Oh, yeah, there we go. We usually stash them back here. These are uh, Audio Technica digital references. They're really in rough shape, but they work just fine. Kind of cheap feeling compared to my, uh, ooh, gotta be easy with that. Compared to the Shures. We got these Shures. These actually are not the, uh, belong to the auditoriums. Ooh, it's got a nice little dent on it. I don't know how that happened, but these are sure SM58s. We use these for on stage. These actually kind of belong partially to the music department as well. We just kind of share them, you know. 
but the Audio Technicas and all these wireless mics, these lapel mics, especially these very fancy Audio Technica receivers. I have no idea what that was about. Someone was banging on the door, but uh, not bothering me now. <laughs> so these are very fancy Audio Technica. This doesn't have any batteries in it. And we got also, I think Sam Nudge has the uh, the lav mic that uh, version of this that you'd use on cameras, but that's what this is. It's a little uh, Sennheiser, or Sennheiser, whatever you call it. Just some power cords and stuff. And that is a huge subwoofer, which I'll show you towards the end of the video. And we got all the receivers for those shitty... And we got some Shures here, the uh, the Shure PGX ones. These are really, really cheapos, but they work just fine. And they're kind of reliable, so that's all that matters. And I got some a router that I stole. And another router right there that we actually use for Wi-Fi up in here, because... Uh, What's fun without Wi-Fi? And we got MS-16 monitor speakers. These are decent. they not really the best sounding, but for what we use them for. And uh, for vocal audio put back, it sounds good. Now I've been wondering, why is, there, uh, why is there monitors in the booth? Well, this booth is soundproof. 100% soundproof. You can shut the door over here, and you could scream, and no one would hear you. Right here, see? How thick that glass is. That's a full pane of glass. Or maybe, no, it's not. It's not a full pane of glass. But completely soundproof. Very, very high quality. Very, very high quality booth. And um, yeah, that's basically that. So I mean, then we got a tape deck down there. An 8-track. I think it's an 8-track. Of course, we never use an 8-track. <laughs> like, it's been a while since we used that. Now this right here is a very big speaker. This is a JBL Professional Series 22 inch. This is the same exact woofer that we have underneath the stage down there. And this was actually a replacement because the original JBL Professional Series 22 inch that we had, um, which is this one, got completely trashed. It was, uh, as you can see, it was all cut up and shit. So uh, I don't know if it still works. It probably does. But from what I've seen in these speakers, it's definitely worth it to recone. So I am going to get a recone kit for this. I'm going to recone this. And we're going to have, and we're going to set the speaker back up down there. Uh, maybe we'll put a second one in that spot. So two subwoofers, you know, more the merrier. And here's our amplifier. Ah, oh, sorry, my knee just cracked. Sound stage systems entertainment worldwide. As you can see, we got a little, uh, I don't know what this is. This is a professional amplifier. You can see we got uh, channel 1, channel 2, and uh, how we have this rigged up is it's not in stereo. We have channel 1 for the subwoofer and channel 2 for the... I No, it's channel 1 for the satellite speakers and channel 2 for the subwoofer, and uh, that's that. And then down here we have a system processor. This is basically just a little... Um, this is basically just a little compressor. I don't know. Very basic unit. And then down there we got the receivers of the Audio Technica. Uh, where are they? Ow! My knee. These right here, the Audio Technica ATW T30 or T310 UF. What is it? UHF transmitters. So, I mean, there's the other one right there. I've really got to clean this place up. So, I'm going to do that right now after I'm done making this video. So, that's a little bit of the tour in here. We also have this Mitsubishi Electronics. Um, air conditioner, but it's broken because uh, it's not broken. It's just as you see, I hit the power button, nothing happens. It's because they have it disconnected. I don't know why they did that. They did that last year during winter and they never uh, hooked it back up. Or they did it this year during the winter because they shut off a lot of the ACs during winter to conserve power. I don't know why they did it to this room. They did it to the room next to it, but they really shouldn't have because they really need it in this room. It's very crucial that they have that in this room, you know? I don't know what gave them the smart idea to do that, but they did it. And up there's an air circulator, because the air in here gets stale very fast. Just turn that on. Nice, easy circulation. You can actually feel it. Bring the old air in, and shove the old air out. You can kind of hear it running over here. There's the... Uh, the little things and there's a little phone right there that phone actually does dial up to the school so getting out of here so we walk down here 
don't know what these things are for. Oh, these are for the, um, I don't know what these are for. We got an outlet right here. And over here is the good oldie suicide spotlight. What is this thing? I don't even know what this thing is. Times HQ Stage Lighting Co. I don't know, this thing's a very old spotlight. It does work, but uh, I can safely say at one time it lit on fire. <laughs> I'll give a demo at the end of the video just to show you what this thing looks like. I honestly hate this thing. It's absolutely dangerous, but it works just fine. Sort of. <laughs> As you can see, we got the drop-down lights right there. Nothing extremely impressive. A lot of them are not hooked up. The ones just facing straight down are not hooked up, as you can see. But uh, that's what they look like. They got the... Uh, as you can see, they're all aiming down here on the walkway because when we have presentations, some people prefer it to be down on the stage or down on the floor right here. So these lights mainly do that job. And up there is the cove lights and the catwalk. I have been up there a lot of times. I'm not going to go up there for this video, not because I can't, but because I just flat out don't want to. It is really dark up there. You won't be able to see anything. And it smells terrible up there. It smells like a mixture of pot cigarettes and the 70s which is something i don't like the smell of <laughs> but that's uh all history and then over here is the uh under stage there's nothing really back there there's just some storage for some seats and over there you can kind of see the jbl subwoofer look how huge that thing is huh you can't really see it too well but it is huge it is massive see they repainted the stage too that's the original color of the stage and remember how I said, way, this is way back in the day, they actually had a light board and sound board that plugged in down here. And that's where it all plugged into, right there, to an electrical relay socket. Obviously, that's not longer used anymore. We have a drop-down uh, projector, which I can show that too. And then we got a bunch of light bars. We have, how many sets of light bars? We've got a lot. We've got four in the first row, four in the middle row. And how many do we have in the back row? Let me see. Actually, I'll go in there in a second. Oh, also, we got these side lights that are aimed over here on the entrances on the side of the stage. Only one of them works on this, and two of the bulbs on here are burnt out, and all of these are disconnected, I think. Well, what's going on over here? What do they do with this? I've got a light aimed out over here. What the heck? There's a better view of the cove, as we call it. Uh, we got some Audi Technica drop down mics, sky mics. They need new batteries though, so they're no good. And then we got these talk back mics that are just kind of dangling here as ghetto sky mics. Those do, those are hooked up. So we got four rows here and we also got some uh, on stage lights there. As you can see, we got some lights hanging up here. Those all do work. So we've got two sets here, two sets there, total eight. And we got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. These down here do work, but I believe only the blues and reds work on them, not the greens. So the ones at the very ends do work. It's kind of pathetic though, there's no use for it. And here's backstage. Go ahead and show you the projector. I'll roll it out here. Let's see it come down in a second. Oh, hallelujah. This will roll down further than the stage is meant to go actually so uh i'm not really gonna let it go all the way down because this thing will go all the way down like it won't it won't stop i'll just stop it right about there there's no need for it to go any further let's get a little view of what the projector screen looks like someone did splice and dice it and it looks like they got cheap repairing it see what i mean by got spliced and diced looks like someone just took an exacto and just went and they just cheaped it up taped it look how huge that uh roll is up there this this projector is way bigger than it needs to be i'll go ahead and roll that back up because like i said no need for it to be out and up you go and the uh the work lights as we call them we have these very nice bright fluorescent work lights as we call them it's basically what we use when we need to see what we're doing i'm just gonna let that go up all the way when i hear it click i'll go ahead and shut it off Okay, and over here is the props room, which, uh, very spooky in here. I, I like to scare people when we come back here. What the hell is a switch? 
trying to remember where we put the switch for this room. Oh well. It's kind of spooky in here. You can't really see it on video, but it's kind of a spooky room. Of course, though. Of course, there's a lot of, uh... And over here is all the wind and pl Henry thing possible. <laughs> oh, God. I am one of those graduation Wyndham players. This upsets me. <laughs> Any Henry thing is possible? Oh, my God. I don't even know. Anyhow, everyone used to sign their name here. I don't know what this stuff is. This looks like they were doing some renovations of some sort. I know these uh, fold-out tables or uh, platforms. I'm not really so sure what's going on in here. Anywho, so I'm going to show you down here. My knee is killing me, so ow. Right here, we just got these Bose soundbars. We were supposed to have another pair down over there because they don't really project so well. But they do good for when we have presentations. They uh, manage audio pretty good. They don't sound the best, but the um, they do what they need to do when doing vocals. But other than that, they sound like ass. They really do. They're terrible. They're absolutely horrible. But there's actually a plug back here. See, like the professional audio plug right there. And what we do is we plug in these uh, Henberg, or whatever they're called, speakers into them. And we put the Henbergs on the stage, and those things can pump. So when you want to play music in here, and you're doing a concert, you bring out the Henberg, and those things, those things you want. Those things are pretty good. All right. We're going to go ahead go up the stage here. We're going to the keep out room. Also, there's the light switch and some black chevron in a stop or two. I didn't think people would find that too common. Uh, welcome to the mess, as we call it, or the uh, fortress of solitude, or I don't know. Right here we got this really cheap Spectra SR2 speaker. It has like two 10-inch woofers in it. It's just, we use it as a monitor for a couple times, and I think we blew it out uh, because it I don't know, it just doesn't work right anymore. It used to work good, and then I think we blew the crossover on it, because it doesn't work anymore. Then we got these sound techs. These things are not bad, these uh, sound tech STSs. These are pretty good, 15 inch. Uh, these are really good ones, actually. These are probably the best thing, and they got a pretty mean compression driver on them. They're pretty damn good. And these things we actually use, we actually set them up as either as monitors, or we'll set them up in the back of the auditorium. They don't have tripod mounts, which kind of suck. And here's like the old, these are old school Radio Shack lapel receivers. And right here's an old KMD MC1602 stereo mixer. I think it's a piece of crap, actually. It's very lightweight and very cheap and just, I don't know. That's what they used before they got the fancy Mackie in there. And here's the Henbergs, or whatever the hell they're called. A decent little compression driver, and they got two 15 inches on them. These things are pretty good. Very well built, I will give them that. This this is very heavy. Not as well built as my PVs are, but pretty close to it. And then over there is a shitty Yamaha board, like some really crappy DJ thing, and the original light board. All of this stuff back here does work, and those are the original lights before we replaced it. Just look at that air intake grill, that's disgusting. That's how dusty it is. And actually, that's how you get up to the catwalk. Like I said, I'm not going up there because, I don't know, it's just... I don't want to go up there. 4 wire i 3 For you fire home enthusiasts out there. Works just fine. Apparently. Um, so that's a little view of what's in here. And there's just some old props. Like there's some old props and everything. <laughs> uh, no children. No drink, no food, no exceptions. The keep out room, as we call it. Or as the old drama players called it. It was called the keep out room. I'm going to miss this place when I graduate. Of course, like I said, the door. So I'm going to go ahead and actually fire up the light and soundboard. We're going to get some action here. Actually, I'm going to shut the lights off from the switch here. There's like five or six switches, switches here. And the lights just gently come off. Ooh. And the work lights can actually be remotely turned off from this feature, and they can actually be completely disabled, so people can't turn them on during a show, which is a nice thing to have. Very, very nice. I'll show you the spotlight in a second. So, let's fire everything up in here. 
So commonly I start by the amplifier, turn that on, fire up the amplifier, the power supply, those come alive, turn on the monitors, this is what I do, and we go ahead, fire up the soundboard, pop. We turn on the receivers, and we'll go ahead and fire up this, the light board. The light board, like I said, is a completely, it's a complete PC actually, until Celeron 2 gigahertz. Nothing really impressive. It's got a standard Phoenix BIOS on it. Kind of see me in the thingy. And then you should see it here in a second. It usually takes a while. I'll turn on this light here. This light is nice to have actually. This board is quite old and it's actually booting off of a flash drive. What the heck? You didn't see the XP load on the screen. Yeah, there it is. Windows XP, Windows is starting up, loading your personal settings. That's funny because this machine is a very select installation. It, you can actually do some cool stuff with it, but at the same time you can't. And this is my awesome chair. This is my lucky chair. can't even explain to you how many times I've, I've done dirty stuff with girls in this chair. And I'm just going to go ahead and shut off the work lights. Oh, and the board came alive. I don't know why it fired up the lights like that. It wasn't supposed to be. As you can see, we got stage lights. Oh, because these things are on. I forgot to turn these off. Whoops. Anyhow, this is basically, as you can see, I'm going to shut off all these board lights here. I'm going to turn on all the house lights. See? All right, so just a good example of the house lights here. I can't, you got to admit, that's pretty cool. So, uh, I kind of enjoy that. Now, uh, I've currently got Kick-Ass Light Show pulled up, which is an awesome light show I made. So, I'll go ahead and scroll through some of the cues, and you can see how awesome this is. It's just basically a cove light test, testing all the uh, lights in the auditorium. And then you can go back up. I actually did a light show like this. I mean, in case you're wondering, I'm just hitting the step up, step downs. Always thought that was pretty cool. I actually noticed something weird. One of the rows up there, if you look closely, you see that row up there? The row with has like one light on it. Now those lights are burnt out, but uh, if you look at it, they actually wired up two light cues on that row. Okay, hold on. See what I mean? They actually, I don't know what they were doing there, but they screwed it up. Let's just go ahead and manually turn on all the house lights here. Whoa, what do we pull up? Troll delete. And of course you can manually activate lights. Ooh flip it. You can just tip the button and it'll come on. And of course all of the, uh, these are all the cove lights. Light you! Oops, those are kind of on. Turn them off a little bit. So that's kind of a, just a decent image of how these work. Uh, we've also, like I said, we've got some lights in the corner that you saw. See? The, that, those were actually for the Ten Little Indians. Which was a show we did. So you got some spots. Like right there was a spot of the stage. Or the fireplace. I don't know what some of these even do. Oh. You got a center spot. I don't remember what that was for. But those are two. Another spot. Another spot. That's a good spot. That's a podium spot. We usually turn that on. Oh. There's a red. White. Those are on the light bars by the way. These... These are on the light bars. See? Light bars. I remember we did a, uh, a light show in here of Journey. And that came out amazing. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do file. New show. And it just everything goes blank besides the uh, lights that I currently have turned on. I can even turn these down halfway if I wanted to. As you can see. Little by little, bring these down. I can even bring them down like so there's like barely any light. 
I can partially bring them down, maybe like almost all the way. Some of these lights need to be rehooked up. They just there needs a lot of work done to this to this uh system. There really does need to be a lot of work done to this. Nothing move, no cues, recordings to block. We'll go ahead and X out of here. And it's gonna keep it opened. I'm gonna show you the interface here. This is pretty cool. Look at this. Pellet control panel shows the date and time. This is pretty cool. Look at this. You got some simple applications. You got system. You've got uh, set time and date. I don't know what that is. Change mouse resolution. Change mouse options. Keyboard options. Accessibility. Uh, configure network network name. I actually did have this thing on the internet, but of course there's really no point of even plugging this thing into the internet. You can. There is an Ethernet card on here. You can plug this thing up to the internet, but there's really no purpose to it because... Look at the Internet Explorer version. What is this? File... Properties? No, no, that's not what I wanted. What is it? Let me, let me go to F1, maybe. I don't know where it'd be at. Uh, I just, I'll just close it. I don't know. I think that's Internet Explorer 6 or... Or seven, so it's not very good. And of course, you got paint. What what computer is isn't complete without paint, right? It's like, why not, right? <laughs> I don't even know why they threw it on there. Launch Outlook Express. It's rather dated. Some of this stuff is very dated. Run hardware test. Run release notes. Start a new show file, and that's how you get to the uh, file here. Palette. Shows Incorporated. Takes a little bit to load. Anyhow, it's kind of cool, actually. So I'm going to give you an overall audio test. I'm not going to play music through here because, come on, like, there's classes in session. I don't really want to disturb any classes because this is during school hours. I'm just screwing around in here. So I got the uh, Audio Technica digital reference hooked up. As you can see, it's coming out through here. It's just muted. And it's still really quiet. Poop. Tug McGuire. <laughs> So, okay, just muted the mic. I'm gonna come out here, out of the booth, give you a nice audio test. I could even plug in the uh, camera to the uh, speaker system if I wanted to. This has XLR on it. Total wire. Works pretty good. So, as you can see, it works pretty good. There's nothing really wrong with the audio. It's pretty decent. It's very clear. Um, for being a piece of shit mic, it works fine. And just for the jolly hell of it, I'll screw around with the spotlight. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. And uh, pause the video and I'll be right back. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, heading up there, I'll give, show you what it looks like behind the scenes here of this thing. It's just it's an utter piece of crap, really. It's really old and... Ah, my knee! All right, it's going to be hard to do with one hand. 
the blackout right there. Move it around, make it bigger, smaller. And uh, this is gonna destroy my camera. Holy crap, that's so great. Oh my god. I almost blinded myself with that thing. Jeez. Let me get the idea of this piece of crap. Alright. Well, not a decently long video, right? And this one over here, I'm not even gonna try this thing. This thing's just such a big piece of shit. It's not even funny. This thing's even bigger of a piece of shit. Look. The fan doesn't even spin on it. <laughs> Look at the fan. Look how shitty it is. Look, it's not even bright. Look at down there. Look how unbright that is. And the lens on it's broken too. It's a big piece of shit. And it's a fire hazard too. I hate it. Well, I'm gonna turn everything off because there's no reason of it being on. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power off the board. I'm sure you want to exit. Yes, I do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna power off the amplifier. Shut off the power supply. Where is it? There's a switch. It's right here. I can't believe I just couldn't find it. And then we'll go ahead and just shut off the board. The switch down here. Pop. Goes the weasel. Go ahead. Shut down. Yes, please. Windows is shutting down. God bless you. <laughs> And the lights are actually going to shut off in here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the work lights back on. And the lights are going to shut off in the auditorium. So I'm going to go ahead. Because the board is shutting off. So I'm going to be a smart guy. I'm going to go ahead and turn them on. Before they shut off. I'm just going to wait for them to shut off. Because it's kind of cool. Why not, right? The music department's down there. Oh, there it goes. What's also pretty cool about this is that not only is there a full setting, see the lights just gently come on, there's also a half setting. If you like a presentation, it's kind of nice, right? And you can just turn them totally off. And turn them totally on. Now a lot of these bulbs are pretty different. Some of them are a CFL. Some of them are just plain old incandescents. None of them are the original spotlight designs. See, some of those are just Plain old incandescence. I have to turn the gain down on my camera. Hold on. Yeah, you can kind of see better. Like some of these are just plain old incandescence. Some of them are just missing bulbs. And uh, like this one right here, that's a standard spot. We got some LED spots. See? I think this one is an example is an LED spot. We got some CFLs. That's an incandescent. Incandescence. Looking for that CFL one I saw the other day. It's like this really weird CFL. Oh, here it is. Oh, you can't see it. Oh. Wow, crazy that CFL bulb is. I thought that was kind of cool. So, anyhow, that's pretty much it. I have nothing else to show. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed.